choice for news. This is Channel 8 News Now at 6. Oh, they're out of control. They're out of control. I would like to see the lawmakers address this problem. People are losing a lot of money because there's no oversight on the board. These guys can get away with murder. Who holds the power? You or your homeowners association? As the 2011 legislative session begins, that's the million-dollar question homeowners are demanding lawmakers answer. Wielding signs and shouting, many angry residents protested fines and what they call harassment from homeowner associations. They're hoping new laws make HOAs more homeowner friendly. And while protesters rallied at the Grant Sawyer building across town, hundreds of other angry homeowners protested a meeting of our state's largest homeowners association. The Sun City Summerlin HOA held a special meeting to approve hiring a new executive director. But as 8 News Now reporter Cherie Harbin tells us, that meeting quickly turned into a shouting match. We have a huge audience today. The meeting started out peaceful but quickly turned hostile. This is residents' comment time. Okay. Okay. Wait, I'm going to short. You keep your answer real short. For two hours, Sun City Summerlin homeowner after homeowner expressed their frustration and opposition to the only item on the agenda, approving a new executive director. If you wait three weeks, maybe she'll be accepted. But if you rush to it now, and you're doing it. I move that we offer Christine A. Gibbs employment. Oh. The controversy is over timing. The association is in the middle of an election. In two weeks, a new board will be in place. But this is a decision one board member says can wait. Uh, some people are in a hurry, and for the life of me, I don't know why. None of the five board members who voted for the new leader were willing to talk to us about their position on the matter. This is a private business. This is a private business with the association. Can I just ask you one question on camera? No. It's a problem homeowners say is bigger than their 14,000 member association. What's happened here today is a symptom. It's not the cause. It's a symptom. And the solution they hope comes out of this legislative session. Laws giving homeowners more power than their association. This is going to bankrupt most of the uh, common interest communities in this state and cause the kind of uh, situation we've seen here today. Cherie Hartman, 8 News Now. In two weeks, ballots must be in, and the new board will meet on the 24th of this month. Board members say they could move to fire the new executive director, but then the issue becomes how much her replacement will cost. Well, 190.